And uh, here's a handful of some of our larger customers, Starbucks, Salesforce, Crate and Barrel. Uh, and I want to actually show you a live demo of using this product to help inspire you to start today. So here is our homepage. And the way to get started with Optimize It, which is pretty unique, is that all you need to do is just enter the URL that you want to test into our homepage. Uh, in this case, I'm glad to also do experiments with uh, several of the folks who want to have their page uh, tested right here. But I'm going to start off with Intuit. And so all you need to do is enter the URL you want to test into our homepage, click Test It Out, and this will load Intuit.com into our visual editor. In this visual editor, at the top of the page, you see controls to manage your experiment. And below is actually where the real action happens. As I move my mouse over different parts of this page, a blue rectangle shows up telling me that's a part of the page that I can run an experiment on. And so if I were, let's say, a marketer working at Intuit, and I was in charge of marketing the Intuit Go payment product, which is a direct competitor or knockoff to Square, um, I might say, well, instead of saying accept credit cards anywhere, I will click on that headline, and I have a bunch of options how I change this. In this case, I'll say edit element, edit text. And instead of this, I'll say it's not for squares. So very quickly, and very visually, without understanding HTML or CSS or JavaScript, I can make a change to my website, click the original, see what it looks like compared to the original page. And if I want to just start an experiment today just with this one simple A-B test, all I need to do to implement Optimizely is a one-time copy and paste of a single line of code. Once this line of code is on your website, you never have to change it. And that's fundamentally the difference between Optimizely and every other product out there, is it doesn't require you to instrument each element that you want to test. It's a one-time implementation. So that's a simple example. And A-B testing isn't just A-B. It's A-B dot 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 end testing. So let's do another variation. In this case, I'll create variation two. And in this particular uh, experiment or this variation, I'm going to take this uh, picture of these two cute lovebirds and change it with another picture. I say, click on that image, edit element, change image. And I happen to have an image on my computer that might work a little bit better called Intuit Guy. And now I have an image that I've actually taken from my desktop, uploaded to Akamai. Optimizely does that for you on your behalf, host it there for free for, free for you. So you don't have to worry about your content management system or your image library or asset library or talking to the design team. All of the organizational bottlenecks have prevented marketers from doing these kinds of experiments earlier. And you can directly upload it to your website. Fortunately, this is a bit hard to read. So what I'll also do is take this block of text and click Move and Resize and just drag it over here. Pretty easy. And then since this is dark, I'll just lighten up this text a little bit. And there you have it. So it's just a simple few clicks of my mouse. I can make a dramatically new variation of this page, quickly compare it to the original page. And all I need to do to implement this experiment is a single one-time copy and paste of a line of code that never changes. Now, running an experiment or an A-B test isn't just about setting up the experiment, but it's also about setting goals. Like I said in the beginning, the first lesson was to define quantifiable success metrics. So in this case, a quantifiable success metric you may want to measure is the number of clicks, and I'll click track clicks, create new click goal, the number of clicks on this particular apply now button. And what this will do is actually measure the number of clicks this button gets for each of the variations that you've created. And I'll also show you a measure of statistical confidence as to whether the differences you're seeing are due to chance or because of the change you made. So you create this goal, now you can actually, in the results page for Optimize, they see that variation and see for each variation the click-through rate. So I'll quickly open up an experiment we actually ran on, uh, well, on our homepage. Uh, we actually ran an experiment. Uh, we actually ate our own dog food, ran Optimizely on Optimizely. Uh, and I can actually uh, pull up in our, in our blog post, we talked about this. Um, we actually have a great blog that talks about different case studies. Uh, but in our blog post, we talk about the, two, the, 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 the homepage test. This was actually, in fact, our 100,000s experiment that we ran on Optimizely. Uh, 